So this show, yes, it's all recent. Everything was done in the last six months, eight months. And I think it's just a continuation of everything before. Um, I think I'm getting better at letting go of certain things so it can be a little looser or I'm more able to remove things. I don't feel like I need to pack stuff or um, be pleasing. I think it's okay if it's um, more, maybe there's more work to do while looking at it. And I think that I'm happy about that, that I'm able to do that now. I'm interested in, I'm interested in the body and um, I, I'm interested in the body being out of control that you, it's, yes, I, I'm, uh, that you think you're in control, but you're actually not, your body is betraying you or things are happening that you can't control and um, maybe shame or also. Um, so the noses are, to me, represent that the sort of weight, like a, a vi um, external vision of weight and being out of control and, but still trying to be dignified about it. Their bodies are doing things that they're not, um, they can't manage. Um, so, and I think you, you project your feelings or I project my feelings onto it. I'm not very interested in the viewer and the um, person in the painting having a relationship. It's, to me, it's really about you seeing something that you might not um, be allowed to see maybe, that the person would not, wouldn't want you to see. Um, so I think that, yes, I want, I, that's also why I think I don't put eyes usually and I hide their faces so that you are really allowed to look as much as you want without being challenged. Um, that's, that's important at this point. The gender is usually not important because even if there are a lot of nipples or breasts, it's not about the breasts or the nipple, it's about what it does to the sweater. So it's the sweater that's important or the, it's the tension, the, the um, um, action reaction that's interesting to me. And again, nipples are there because it's your body doing something or being something that it just is and you try to manage it. But it's not really about being a female or, I think in this show, the one with the milk, that is really important that it's, I mean, it is a female and also it's called the, it's, a, it's from this old illuminated manuscript um, about a witch. And again, your, your body being able to do these things that are sort of magical and also maybe threatening and bizarre. So yes, so she's definitely, but yes, usually the gender is not very important at all. And I don't decide beforehand if it's gonna be a man or a woman. And sometimes I'm not sure actually. I'm just trying to think when I decide what it's gonna be. I think if it's about like the one, the painting with the finger where the person is balancing on a finger, there was no reason to add any other visual. So it could be a woman, but you just 
don't see. For this show too, I was uh, watching a lot of Hitchcock movies and the fact that these, his women are so contained and corseted and encapsulated in all this um, armor and they're so cold and it's the same thing where you're supposed to just sort of look at them and admire them and their emotions are, maybe you're allowed to be scared and freak out in these movies because everything is so controlled around it. And that, that interests me, the f sort of perfectly executed anxiety and rage. And um, so the one, the painting in the show that has the uh, woman bending backwards is actually from vertigo when she falls in the water and he fishes her out. And she's in this gray suit with a bra that's like a cone. And she's, compl she's supposed to be completely um, unconscious and floppy, but her clothing is holding her breasts up like this. And I like that con contrast and um, Yes, the fact that you can have big emotions, but it's held up by the, in my case, the technique. So it's not about what I did, or it's not about how it's made, really. It's that should disappear so that you can really feel the emotion in the subject. Yeah, right. So the technique is important, it's very important. Um, it's true that everything started changing when I started using oil because I could suddenly do what I wanted. Suddenly you could have um, not a 3D shape, but uh, like depth and um, fading. And because I used to use acrylic and that's completely flat and ink, I was using a lot of um, techniques that were very graphic design and flat and illustration and I was afraid of oil for years because it's toxic and it's mysterious you're not sure how but it took me a couple of days to realize that it's really not that weird and it was like it was like love at first site was amazing and it changed truly everything. My, the subjects that I painted suddenly did what I wanted. It was like finding, I can't believe I took me this long to find oil. So the drawings are, um, they are not studies. I, I do a study that's usually pen actually, but it's more, um, to, it's more uh, to see the proportions. It's, I realize that a good drawing almost never can just transfer into a good painting. It almost never works. So something that works in a drawing that's fast and you can be kind of vague about it and it's just not going to work in a painting where you have to think every single stroke or nothing can be sort of left a little bit vague, really. Um, but so I like the drawings because I can be just really much looser. That's why the strokes are fine and you can see the pencil a lot. The school I was in in Geneva had a um, comic subcategory in the classes. And I took that and I grew up with Popeye and a lot of Crumb and a lot of, you know, Tex Avery even. And I know that I definitely use that in my paintings. And for some reason, I think it's because it's so familiar, I get a little defensive when people say it's cartoonish. 
that my paintings are cartoony, but I'm not entirely sure why I get defensive about it because it is a big influence.